So today I'm going to be comparing three popular camp stoves. I'm going to be discussing things like the weight and the pack size, so how they perform for boil times and simmering. So we'll also be checking out how efficient they are by checking how much gas they use. So the three stoves that I'm going to be comparing today are the MSR Pocket Rocket 2, the Jetboil Minimo and the Soto Windmaster stove. I've used all three of these stoves a number of times and overall they all perform really well. So I'll get the stove set up and then we'll talk about some of the specs. So first up we've got the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. This is the lightest of the three stoves showing you today. This weighs in at 2.6 ounces and it's currently priced at £29 on Amazon. But it's also the cheapest of the three stoves. So as you can see it's a very compact stove and it's also very simple to set up. So you just unfold the arms and there you have the stove arms out ready to accept your pot. Very easy to set up to the gas canister like all of these stoves you just screw it onto the end of the canister you might hear a little hiss make sure it's nicely sealed and then you're ready to go the stove does come in this protective case but I tend not to take this with me anywhere as I like to store my stove inside my pot so I'll put that to one side and move on to the jet boil So as you can see the jet boil is completely different to the Pocket Rocket 2. It's much bigger and bulkier, it's also heavier at 12.2 ounces and it's the most expensive stove at £115. However you do have to bear in mind that this stove does come complete with a pot, a pot stand and a lid and there's also a cup at the bottom with markers inside so you can accurately measure the water that you need. So although the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 and the Soto Windmaster are cheaper, you will have to buy other things such as a pot, a lighter to ignite it, and possibly a gas canister support to give you extra stability. Alright, so I'll get the jet boil set up. So inside the lid I have the the support for the gas canister the canister just clips onto there in here keep the stove itself comes in a protective bag so you don't get damage to the inside of your pot so there's a pot rest that can go on top for using frying pans and bigger size pots the way these stoves work is that they clip into the bottom of your pot everything's integrated it's also got a flux ring around here which means that these stoves are incredibly efficient so again these are very easy to set up just screw the stove onto the top so now you can either put on the pan support if you want to use a frying pan there we go. Oh, we can take that off. So you can put your pot on, locate it in there. You can either boil water, cook your noodles, whatever you want to do. The Minimo is the only stove that comes with a built-in piezo igniter. So with the Soto Windmaster and the MSR Pocket Rocket, you will need to bring something like a lighter to get the stove started. So last up, we have the Soto Windmaster stove. So this comes in its own little bag to protect it. Inside we have the stove itself. So this is a little bit more complicated to set up than the MSR Pocket Rocket. On here you have a four flex stand, which you can see here is spring loaded. This fits over the stove and clips on. So it's not locked onto the stove like it is on the Pocket Rocket. You have to take it off and then wrap it around the stove when you want to store it away.
This stove is a little heavier than the Pocket Rocket 2. This weighs in at 3 ounces and it has a price point of £46. So once again, very simple, just screw it on top of the canister. I do stand corrected. I forgot this actually does have a piezo igniter on it. So it's only the pocket rocket where you need to bring a lighter with you. The Windmaster does have very wide legs, which means it's also perfect for putting on frying pans or larger pans. Very stable. So, so far, on price, weight and pack size, the MSR Pocket Rocket is the winner. So to be honest, the Windmaster isn't far behind it for the, for the weight and the pack size, because it's not much different at all from the Pocket Rocket 2. And bringing up the rear at the moment is the Jetboil Minimo. It's only gonna get one point for its price at 115 pounds. It's obviously heavy and bulky, so it's gonna get one point for each of those as well. So now I'm going to fire these up and see how quickly it boils 300 millilitres of water. I will be weighing all the canisters first to see how much gas has been used. I measure out 300 mil. It's not an exact science, but it's close enough. Let's get it fired up. Watch started. Does it get any better than this? So we're only one minute in and it's already starting to go on the jet oil. There we go. 1 minute 11 seconds. It's pretty impressive to be fair. So next up we're going to go for the Soto Windmaster. For this I'm going to be using the Outkit Mai Tai 650 mug. Again we'll just bob in oh, 300 mils of water. a few little bits of grass. So I get it fired up. Stop watch on the go and get on. A few little bubbles at the moment. Enough to make the pot rattle. I'll put that there, lift the lid off easier. Just starting to boil now. That's 1 minute 45. 300. Right, for this one. I need to light it with a lighter. Any ideas why they call it the Pocket Rocket? By far the loudest of all the stoves. So a minute, two seconds in. Beautiful balls. Almost there, I think. Just starting to go now. And that is one minute fifty seven seconds. Get the gas off. That's where these little micro pot grippers come in really handy. It means you can get hold of some of these hot pots without burning your pinkies. 
So on that test, the Minimo was the clear winner. Soto Windmaster was second. And bringing up the rear was the Pocket Rocket too. But to be fair, there's not a massive difference in it if you're just wanting to make a cuppa. So the jet boil is the clear winner when it comes to boiling times and fuel efficiency. So let's get some noodles on the go and see how the stoves perform when it comes to simmering. So that's 400 mil. But I'm going to go a little bit less because I like my noodles less runny. 300 and a splash. So we'll do the pocket rocket too first, get the water to a boil, then drop some noodles in. In the meantime, tidy up a little bit more. Break them up first. Bring this down to a simmer. Give them a bit of a stir. Can't really see the flame. But when it's simmering you can see the wind blowing it around. Let's get some of the sticky powder in as well. Add some flavour to it. Not sure if you can hear that, but the wind is making it struggle a little bit now because it's on such a low flame. What we don't want is anything to stick to the bottom of the pan. I'll switch over to the wind master now just to show you the difference, really. So, this has got a much more sensitive. Um, control lever so you can get the temperature you know to fluctuate it's much more accurately it's on a very low heat yet it's still bubbling quite a lot that's about as low as I can get it so again, I'm not quite sure if I'd call that a simmer, or whether that's more of a mini boil. In fact, the flame's gone out, it's gone that low, I think. Let me double check. No. Still there. So even on the very lowest heat, still letting them boil. But it doesn't seem like it's sticking, and I am using a titanium pot, which, um, which tends to stick quite a lot more, actually. I'm thinking that the Pocket Rocket 2 is a little bit better for simmering than this. I'll switch back again to the Pocket Rocket. But I do actually think it's a little bit better than the Windmaster. It's allowing you to set a lower temperature. I'll leave them to stand just to thicken up a little bit more. In the meantime, we'll try the jet boil. Let's get it up to a boil first. Sticky stuff in, give that a stir around. So as you can see already there's nothing bubbling up yet. And the flame isn't as blue on this one. So I'm expecting this to simmer a lot, a lot better than the, the other two stoves. Just check back on that. They've thickened up nicely look. Let's get them in the pan. There's no sticking to the bottom of the pan, which I'm really happy about. I'll just take these to Matthew. He can eat those. So again, this is looking like another win for the jet boil. Seems to have a much finer simmer control. Bits of grass in my, in my noodles. Not hurt that, will it? I am wondering if this flux ring on the bottom of the pot is helping distribute the heat better. 
So it also seems to be protecting the flame from the wind. So that might be the reason why I'm able to lower it a little bit more. I do recommend getting a plastic spoon uh, for this kind of pot. You don't want to be scratching the non-stick surface off them. So the summer test looks like it's another victory for jet boil. Get them off the stove. Leave them to sit for a little while. There's no sticking at all with this either. So everything is cooked lovely. So while I'm tucking into this, I'll talk a little bit about the performance in the wind. So as you've already seen, even in environments like this where there's not very much wind at all, the pocket rocket struggled a little bit when it came to lower flames for when I was simmering. I've tested this out many times up in the hills and I find that I have the same problem when it comes to boiling unless I've got some kind of windshield around it. Out of all three stoves this one performs worst in the wind. However the Soto Windmaster performed considerably better in the wind hence the name I suppose. So one of the main reasons for that is that it has a very low flame height so the pot gets really close to the top of the burner. It also has a lip around here which protects the flame from any wind. So I have used this several times in windy conditions without any sort of windshield and it performs really well. Now the jet boil also performs really well in the wind. Now the way that it is designed is that the pot locks directly above the flame. There's also the flux ring that's built into the pot which helps protect it from the wind. And I also find that that helps distribute the heat better so that allows for quicker boil times and a more consistent simmer. So when it comes to wind performance, I think that the Minimo just shades it over the Windmaster. So the last thing that I just want to touch on before I add up the scores is you need to consider your complete cooking package. So something like the jet boil, you get everything in one compact unit. I agree it still is a little bit bulky, but in here you can get your stove and you can get a small gas canister in it if you don't take um, the pot support for a frying pan. But I tend to just take this in my pack and then one of these goes in the bag somewhere separate. Because I do like to be able to cook on the frying pan, knock up a steak, something like that if I want to. So with the other two stoves you're going to need to come up with a, a pot combination as well. The great thing about a stove like this is that you can use virtually any pot that you've already got. But it also means that you can use the pot that you buy with it for other stoves as well, such as a Trangia alcohol stove. So it gives you lots of options for mixing and matching really. Depending on what pot size you get, you can put your gas canister in and the small stoves can usually fit in with the gas canister and everything be packed away. But they do rattle around a fair bit so I recommend that you wrap the stove up in a bag or in with some kind of cloth. That protects your stove and it also protects your pot. So for me this has been a really good combination. The Pocket Rocket 2, Outkit My Thai 650 and a small gas canister. Rag for wiping up and I even take a sponge for clean ups too. Same again with the Soto Windmaster. Just break the stove down. Fold the legs around the base. Depending on your pot size this can fit in along with your gas canister. However, it doesn't fit in the Mai Tai 650 mug. So if I take this combination, I end up having to just put the gas in here with a rag or two, and the Windmaster goes in its bag and goes in one of the pockets in my rucksack. So these kind of systems tend to rattle around a little bit. Whereas a jet boil, you know, has been designed so everything just sticks together and you know, it's all integrated and there's, there's virtually no rattle. So the scores are in and it's much closer than I thought it would be to be honest. So third place I get 14 points for the Soto Windmaster. It's a great stove if you want something that's lightweight and reasonably priced. It performs really well in the wind but its simmer control wasn't great and it was the costliest when it came to fuel. So it was using twice as much fuel as the jet boil. So in joint first place we have the jet boil and the MSR Pocket Rocket. Both of these scored 15 points. The Jet Boil scored really well for boil times, fuel efficiency and for simmering. However it's a very bulky bit of kit and it's twice as expensive as, as the Pocket Rocket 2 and that is with considering the price of a £20 pot to go with this. 
That said, I really love this stove and it is now my favourite gas stove that I use. I love how everything's compact and how versatile it is, especially when I take the frying pan with me as well. But in equal first place is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. This is not the greatest stove when it needs to be used in the wind, but that can easily be combated by getting a cheap windshield to give it some protection from the elements. Very efficient on fuel, it's lightweight and it compacts really small. And the cheapest I've found it is £29 and that's delivered. So for me that makes this the best value of all the stoves. Obviously there are a lot of other gas stoves out there that could perform equally or better than the three that I've shown you today. But these are the three that I use and I often get asked questions on which one is the best. So before I did this experiment I would have put the stoves in order. Minimo, Windmaster and then the MSR Pocket Rocket in last place. But after going through the tests and giving them scores, I've actually changed my mind on that. In first place, purely for, for good value reasons, I'm going to put the MSR Pocket Rocket, closely followed by the Jet Boil Minimo. But that said, the Minimo is my personal favourite and I'm going to continue to use that. The Soto Windmaster is not far behind, so that would also be a really great choice if that's something that you're interested in. So if you like videos with stoves in, please check out this video up here where I'm cooking a delicious fry up with the Jetboil Minimo and Skillet.